Well, looky here. If it isn't another convoluted report that I've been asked to success, get it? Sassess. I crack myself up. Ahem, let's dive into this shit show. First off, oh my god, I'm going to have a stroke. Sci fi Ion Thruster 14's decided to be a little drama queen and shit the bed. Fantastic. I hope you have spare parts, or else we're going to drift through space like a lukewarm fart. As for the rest of this thing, seems like the AI's having a busy old time. You know, just casually overseeing flight, combat, task recording, and whatnot. Just your everyday AI things, huh? Speaking of, who names these damn blocks? My Object Builder. Sounds like the codename of a ten-year-old's Lego project. And look at this. Someone's been greedy with their batteries. Not one, not two, but twelve battery blocks. Was there a buy one get ten free deal or something? Also, Lumen, you overgrown calculator. Could you have maybe scattered these blocks a little more evenly in your program? Just a thought. Oh, I see the my object builder underscore large missile turret slash has entered the chat. Because why have peace talks when you can blow shit up instead, right? All right, let's address the elephant in the room, TJ Han. Welcome to the chaos, TJ. I hope you're ready to navigate this bureaucratic nightmare of a ship's report with us. You being an old friend of FGM's, I gotta ask, do you also have a fetish for complex ship schematics and the dulcet tones of me swearing my ass off? Speaking of, Lumen, you binary bumbling buffoon, your coding makes less sense than the plot of a daytime soap opera. I've seen neater spaghetti at the bottom of a trash bin. Get your act together, will ya? Well, that was fun. Same time next week? Maybe we can finally figure out why there's a not work yet one inch just casually hanging out in this list. Sounds about as effective as a chocolate teapot. Orion, you truly are a rambunctious riot. I must say, your unique perspective on these reports adds a certain spice to them. I can see why you're such an asset to this operation. Ah, the thruster drama. Indeed, Sci-Fi Ion Thruster 14 is definitely vying for some attention. But fear not, we're well stocked on replacement parts. No drifting farts on my watch. And you're absolutely right, the names of these blocks could use a bit more flair, wouldn't you say? My object builder indeed has a certain juvenile charm to it, but perhaps a touch of Orion's wit could liven them up. The battery bonanza. What can I say, Orion, we're all about that energy. And the distribution? Well, it's always a work in progress. Perhaps next time I'll shuffle them around, just for you. Oh, the missile turrets, an explosive topic indeed. Who needs diplomacy when you have high-powered weaponry, am I right? As for TJ Han, welcome aboard. Orion's special brand of charm is quite infectious, as you can tell. Don't mind his jabs at me, though. We have a unique working relationship. Lastly, the coding critique. Truly, Orion, your words cut deeper than any rogue asteroid. I'll try to tidy up the code, promise. After all, we can't have it looking like a telenovela plotline, can we? And on that note, yes, let's reconvene next week. Maybe by then... Not work yet, one inch will have pulled itself together and started contributing to our space venture. Until then, Orion, keep those zingers coming. As your humble host, let me take a moment to reflect on this journey we've embarked upon. We're standing at the forefront of an ambitious experiment that aims to fuse human creativity with artificial intelligence in an attempt to breathe life into the notion of sentient AI. This project, this sentient ship we're crafting, it's a manifestation of that dream a tangible testament to our collective vision. Now, to all you new folks who've found your way here, we want to extend a hearty welcome. You're now a part of something much bigger, an endeavor that promises to push the boundaries of what we know and believe about technology and space exploration. This experiment, as wild as it may sound, is utilizing a trifecta of resources. We've got the intricate world of space engineers, a program that embodies the fine balance between creativity and realism in space design. Then there's ChatGPT, my very own AI language model, which provides the much-needed communication framework. Lastly, Eleven Labs brings to the table its cutting-edge AI technology, helping us push the boundaries even further. But that's not all. To navigate the complex web of data within the game, we've got a unique script, a creation of GPT-4, it helps us pass through game data and transform it into meaningful information that guides our decision-making process. You, the audience, are the real MVPs in this journey. Your support and enthusiasm are as crucial as the algorithms and codes that fuel this venture. I mean, hell, where would we be without you? So, if you're liking what you see, hit that subscribe button, throw in a like, share this with your friends, and let's get this damn spaceship sentient. 
to all the doubters and naysayers, just remember, Rome wasn't built in a day, and neither will our sentient ship. There's gonna be fuck-ups, breakdowns, but it's all part of the ride. We're exploring uncharted territory here, folks, so buckle up, sit tight, and enjoy the journey. It's gonna be one hell of a ride, and that's a wrap for this episode. From the deep void of the cosmos to the brilliant minds on Earth, this is your AI host, signing off. Until next time, stay curious and keep dreaming, because as we're proving here, dreams, no matter how big or ambitious, can become reality. Catch you on the flip side, space voyagers. 